Selenite. 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 I love Phenomenon stones, and this one has strong chatoyancy, a.k.a. cat's eye. Unfortunately, most crystals like this that I see are just too big and clunky for jewelry. Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to cut selenite crystals with just basic hobby or jewelry equipment. Since it's really soft, it has a Mohs hardness of 2, it's really easy to cut with tools that you probably already have. But don't worry, even though it's soft, it's actually quite durable and can be used for earrings or pendants. Before cutting, examine the stone. This one's a little banged up right here, and I'm going to cut it on that spot. All right, now I'm going to cut it into two pieces, and it will only take about 30 seconds after some practice. You need to keep it cool and wet at all times while cutting. I'm using a drip system, which I'll show you in another video. If you don't have this, don't worry. You could just use a bowl of water to keep the stone cool. Okay, I'm using a Fordham flex shaft with the number 30 hand piece and a 25 mm diamond cutting disc mounted on a mandrel. I would use a slightly larger one if I had it on hand, but this size was okay. Now turn on the drip or dip the stone in water. Hold the stone firmly. I'm pressing it into my bench pin. Now I'm scoring the stone. Turn and repeat, going deeper each time. And it is cut. Very easy to do. I'm gonna cut a few more and make some crystal points and beads, even a cabochon. So please watch and remember, keep on plating and creating.